All right, here is the chicken coop. It's complete now. The chickens have been in here for quite a while. It's not the greatest construction, but it did in a pinch. Um, don't have a whole lot of money in this, except for the screen, which is half inch down here. <laughs> and one inch up here. So, missing a hinge on the door there. It's supposed to be five, but one was only half a hinge, so it's only four. Um, I do have fabric buried out on the ground here. Let's see if we can see some of it. I can't see it just yet. There it is right there. You can see right there. It comes out. It's time to put some more dirt back in here. We've had a lot of rain. So. Uh, a lot of this wood was used from the pool deck. We're going to start taking it down. Um, chickens seem to love it. Let's go inside their run right here. And they've been in here for a while. They're roughly 19 weeks old this week. We do have a leg hole ready to lay. Sorry for the camera. Get my lock on the door to keep them in. And this one right there. She's ready to lay. I checked her this morning, sure enough, as soon as I put my hand over her, she squatted and spread her wings real quick. Um, and where'd you go? There you are. I think she's ready to lay too. Her comb and her waddle looks really very red. She looks very good. And as you can see, that one is not. It's getting there. Not quite there yet. And that leg horn is not quite there. Still kind of pink on top. Looking okay. We named all of our chickens. That's our main rooster. He's the head rooster of this hen house. That is Felix. And we were supposed to have all hens, but lo and behold, that sexed female chicken turned out to be a rooster. And lo and behold, his name was Bossy. That's that, all these were named as chicks. That was Bossy. Um, let's see. That is Sassy and Frassy. Lucky and charmed, um, cutie, and where's baby, and baby, uh, baby was almost dead, she had the pasty butt, and my wife really saved that chicken, and she's one of the better ones out here, she'll let you hold her, so we're cutie, um, where else do we go here, and there is, let's see, which one are you, here we go, that I believe is Goldie and Hawn. So we did that. We give them apple cider vinegar water all the all the time. It's constantly a some in there plus oregano water. As you can see, they love it too. They drink it up. Um, they have food all the time. It's quite a bit. We just started putting layer pellets in there and oyster shells for you baby yes for you um, that is a chicken run door i've been cleaning out the coop so before i release them in there that is chicken bath it's got all the de and all kind of other stuff in there for chickens to bathe in uh, and we keep that up in there so it stays dry and they actually do use it we watched them they do use it and you can see the feathers in there uh, and they love to get up underneath there all the way around and just hang out and chill that's their side right there if you can see they get up along the edge right there and they bathe down in the dirt right there you like to hop on my arm don't you they're really really cool chickens they like hanging out with us uh, especially when you give them mealworms they don't use that perch up there we've tried these perches right here but the chains are too long so we're going to take them down that is a run chicken door. It's a $189 door, but I'm gonna tell you what, I love it. It saves me everything. Um, you can set it for whenever you wanna set that thing. And I've got it set to open at a certain time in the morning right now, because it was it was when I was first set up, it was when I left for work, I wanted it to be open. So I know that they would, could get out. And uh, I just haven't changed it back. I'm gonna put it back on the timer so that it opens 20 minutes after sunrise and closes 20 minutes after sunset.
Really cool door. I like that. So let me go show you the coop now. Sad. Just basic carabiner locks style. Everybody uses that basically. So I got this door here. This is for me to get in and out to clean it and stuff like that. And I've got them five boxes here. Just went and got some hay. We had the pine shavings. This is pine mixture of pine shavings and hemp. Uh, a lot of hemp near the bottom to absorb up um, anything that falls down in there. Uh, liquid wise, you know, you know how that goes. Um, anyway, there's uh, hay. I just lined them all with hay since they're ready to start laying, getting them ready to go. And they have been pooping. There's their perches up there. They all, all 10 of them will get up along that. And they were pooping down through there. So I had to, as you see, I just had to add that to protect that ledge that goes up into the nesting boxes. I don't want them pooping all over that ledge and then stepping up in the nesting boxes and covering my chicken eggs with poop. So, all right, they love it up there too. I put little styrofoam pieces up there with the screw heads. I haven't had a chance to cut them off yet. And this is my egg retrieval door. Let's see, I have to open this one first down here. Give me just a second. And as you can see, back up so you can get a good shot of that. There you go, you just reach right in and get your eggs. Just like that. They follow me around, they love me. They love us, I should say. Our chickens love us. We come out here and they just all over us. Scares Ava to death because she they peck at her and she doesn't like it and doesn't understand it. But anyway, there's their five boxes now. They're ready to go. We're gonna see which ones they pick out and like the most. One thing I do not have is an artificial egg, ceramic egg, or wood egg, or anything like that. I really do need one right now. I just don't have one. Plenty of ventilation around the top for them to keep this thing aired out. And we have hit some triple digits here, close to triple digits, and heat index is really, really high. So, um, And they roost over here, so I, put a, I just left that hanging out. I never cut it off. I was like, what the heck, I'll just leave it hanging out like that. And like I said, I just kind of piece stuff in there, you know, just to cover it, just to keep the critters out, keep things from eating my chickens. Um, probably got about six or 7,000 staples in this thing, holding all that wire together. Uh, one by four is around the bottom where it curls up and is stapled to the band around the bottom and then it angles out. That's probably a good 14 to 18 inches um, all the way around the bottom of the coop, all the way around. Everything's buried, cemented in concrete. Um, and basically what I did is I built, the, put the four, uh, eight columns in, four on each side. The, they're four by four is 12 foot. And I just kind of uh, started from there. And that's where I built my coop. I wanted it off the ground. So the 12 footers gave me plenty of room. I can actually get in there and stand up and clean it up like I just did. Uh, plenty of room. So, um, Good support in that door. I don't want it to sag on me and, and bend and warp and all kind of stuff. Works really, really good. But look at there. Look at there. Look what we just caught. I told you she's ready. She is ready. Right on. How about that? Rooster doing his business. He is. Felix, look at him. He's on it too, boy. He is on her. <laughs> wow. All right, everybody. So if you got any questions, comments, uh, leave them. I try to answer everything as much as possible. I'm going to release them back in here now. I'm going to close it up, lock it up, and open the door back for them so they can go in and out again. Um, so anyway, there we go. 19 weeks, and, and they're going to start laying here pretty soon. I'll, I'll do a video pretty soon when we get our first egg. So... Have a good one, everybody. Well, I kind of snuck over here and didn't say nothing to the birds because I noticed one of the white ones keeps coming up missing over here. And there she is. She's in there getting ready to lay us an egg. Hey, girl. Come in and do your business, girl. All right, so we've been waiting on that first egg. Here, Ava. Open the latch, baby. And lo and behold, 
we have an egg. A very first egg here. Not a big one. Not a very big egg, as you can see. Okay, but that's edible. Over light, baby. So. <laughs> that is so that's awesome. That's her baby that's awesome. right there. That's so awesome. Anyway, all right. So there we go. Our chickens are laying eggs now. <laughs>